Hello everyone, welcome to the functions concept of JavaScript. I hope you got all the idea of uh, functions with our previous workshop and continuing that workshop some more functions related concepts I am going to give you here. In uh, the workshop you can check in uh, YouTube channel of Naresh IT. So we discussed all basics about functions and concepts on functions. Till function chaining, declaring parameters, return and various types of function related topics. We will uh, carry forward this concept and uh, some more topics we are going to understand about function. Let us see the other concept. So how do you configure so async function? How do you configure asynchronous functions? Actually, synchronous is a blocking mechanism. So when you execute a function, it blocks the other actions in the process. Asynchronous is an unblocking mechanism. That means it can read the values from any memory collection without blocking the other process, other tasks in the process. So let's see how do we configure asynchronous functions. For that, you need two keywords. One is async, another one await. So blocking waits until it is processed. One is processed and completed, it will go to the next. So by using this synchronous asynchronous technique, without blocking others, we can process all at a time. So that it will improve the performance of application. So let us open the project of JavaScript. Here, let us create one function. So we are creating a function and uh, this function have get categories. So categories is going to return some array of categories like all electronics, so fashion, footwear like this. Now we want to read all the data from this so without a blocking mechanism. Blocking means, for example, you are reading a sequence of values. If any value is heavy and it is taking time, then usually what happens, it will wait until it is completed. Then it will proceed to next. What is async technique allows is to execute along with the process. That means without blocking others. So, for that what we have to do is we need to configure this function as async and it should return this with await. That means now it is converted into a promise. We will discuss more about promises in the next level. Now the function get categories is treated as a promise. In JavaScript ES higher versions, promises are used for creating asynchronous functions. Now you can see this get categories is going to become a promise. And uh, you can check this is a promise type now, which is returning a string array. So how do we generally access a promise? Promise comprises of two important methods for success and finally. Success generally promise have a resolve, a reject and final. So then function, so this have a then method. This then is going to use a callback function. This callback function will collect all the data, whatever data is returned. That means on success, then function will collect the data. And uh, this data we can present. So suppose I am presenting this through document, right? Let us access the data. So that means it is going to return the data. You can just print all the data, but you know that data is a array of string. Then we can use map. We can read a function. Uh, we can define a function which can read every item and where every item we will print, document, write and we are printing every item. So with a break, so we are reading the data. If there is any problem in an asynchronous function, then we can catch by using catch. Catch uses a callback 
it will catch the error and it will report the error so we will log the error if there is any error and finally we will execute a function a callback this executes always so console.log so we will put a message some read complete so when you configure an asynchronous function it is considered as a promise and promises usually return success on success the data on error they will return the error message so then is a callback method which will collect all the data on success catch will execute on failure and finally executes always if the exception occurred or not so when you run this you can see it is going to access the data and return the data so asynchronous function is used for configuring the function in such a way that it will read and return the data without any blocking technique it uses unblocking mechanism actually it converts everything into a promise promise we will detailly learn in the next level but this is how you configure an asynchronous function in every aspect whenever you are trying to read data and it is heavy it may block the requests and it taking time then you can better configure the functions as asynchronous that is about asynchronous functions thank you